It's time for a dun dun anime review. Boom! The review of Hana Yamade. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hanara Sakage is an average 14 year old girl with average intelligence, average athleticism, and average talent. She once had the hope that starting high school would change all that. Unfortunately, the reality could be not be further from the truth, and she remains a wallflower. Why can't life be like fairy tales where a handsome prince lifts a poor girl from obscurity and transforms her into a dazzling princess? Her average student life changes when she meets a blonde girl dancing on top of the gate to a shrine. Nazi assumes the girl's a fairy, but it turns out she's a re just a regular girl too. But it also happens that she's a transfer student named Hana from America who falls in love with Yokoso, a taiko dancing and came to Japan with the intention to start her own club. Excited that she's classmate with a girl she met the night before, Hana tries to recruit Nara to become the first member of the brand new Yokosoko club. Too bad the dog dancing in front of everyone terrifies her. Can Hana convince Nara to join the club? Will Nana fall in love with Yakasoka? Find out in Hajime Day. Now this anime has about 12 episodes. July 8, 2014, 7.3, 2014. It was one of the summer anime. It's based off a manga series. It is Slice of Life, Comedy in School. Each episode is 20 episodes in. This is rated PG-13. Hana Yamate. I will say it does take the standard, you know, your stereotypical Slice of Life type anime, but it does much more than that, as you see of this traditional, I would assume, Japanese dance in this anime with four girls who get enticed and intrigued with this lovely art form of it by the very bright uh, clothing that they wear to the instruments they used to tribute to this dance. I thought there's much more to it. I haven't read the manga for it, which I probably should, but I feel like it gives that same feeling of Kaon and it's at a sense of these four girls bond to a friendship, bonding over a hobby that they all share similar interests for from like the very pretty flower print on the clothes to, you know, the gorgeous, I mean gorgeous, gorgeous like imagery and aesthetic of the clothing to the scenery and the stereotypical persona of each of the girls. You have your average girl, you know, you have your foreign exchange student, you have your other friends who are childhood or just like you just rope them in there. And I feel like with this anime, it tells the story of these girls who end up joining a club that someone started because she fell in love with the Japanese culture to begin with and to perform this dance, this, this traditional Japanese dance and spin it on its head of this one girl who loves the idea of fairy tale when she first saw this girl who looked like a fairy just kind of expanded and developed into something more and I feel like with Nara, she's that stereotypical, you know, shy girl so she considers herself as average as such, and then you, f you put her in the mix of Nara and the other girl, um, Hana, who has a very interesting last name, I will say that. And for Nara, who struggles to be, you know, in front of people because you know that healthy or safe, but tries to develop more of a comfort zone. And I feel like us as people, we always try to like adapt out of our comfort zone to try new interests and hobbies because we don't always stay in that same circle of way, you know, the same like comfort that we're all been feeling never trying anything new. And I feel like anime depicts and expresses that in that just way as it slowly builds up the friendship between these two girls as they slowly start to develop and form their club with new members. And as they're gathering members, you know, uh Nara's trying to be something who she's not. She wants to change her outer appearance, change her, her shell basically. She wants to come out of her shell more. And it shows the story of the girls forming the yoga set club and trying to extend each other and work together as a team to eventually come up with this dance that, you know, that can form the, the festival for it. And I think overall, besides the very beautiful art style, the lovely animation, and the bright color-like palette that's in this anime and the virus palette that just screams like, you know, very beautiful aesthetic. And I feel like that's very fitting for the story and plot overall for this anime, especially for these girls who are in middle school aspects of Japan culture. And the very huge amount of flower like imagery and undertones in this series as a whole, I feel like it works out really well and it represents each of the girls perfectly. Because I feel like with each of the girls, they represent some, tor some sort of flower, if you think about it. And without going into much detail with each of the five, for each girl, you just kind of find them for yourself. But overall, the art style just brings forth the beautiful aesthetic. To this anime and the theme that overall I've tried to enhance for the reader, along with the very gorgeous aesthetic and art style of the flowers for each of the girls and the color and the way that they dance, it's spot on and it's done so well that it's like you're watching like 
I don't know how to explain, but it's just so giftedly done naturally that the animation is just flawless and it's so smooth, you know? And I figure out uh, the music of it, the intro and the outro is very lovely. In the end, I had like, I watched it think about twice because it's very, it's very calming, you know? It is the same type of like, you know, slice of light anime i feel like it's much more than that i don't know how to put it into words but it's just done so well and so beautiful that it doesn't like the story's not complicated so you understand you'll enjoy the characters you relate to them any shape and form and then like the art is lovely the music is nice like the art like the art without the music solo is gorgeous and i mean gorgeous like i just love the artwork it just it was just it just caught my eye and i couldn't stop looking at it i just loved it so 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 much and it was thoroughly enjoyable and uh, if you love like a lovely display of like flower artwork and a new traditional Japanese thing that like, brought into like a more modern aesthetic of it definitely check out this anime you would not be disappointed overall i enjoyed it and i'm like sure if it's the standard typical you know cute girls doing like you know the standard you know what's someone looking for like traditional like high school or middle school type dilemmas but also you're watching them bring forth a beautiful artwork and i just hope that it all comes across as well i hope try to just explain it in my review because i just have to say you literally have to watch it to understand this anime and why it's so beautifully and aesthetically pleasing to the eye that you, you will not want you do not want to stop watching you want to keep watching it through and through because this anime, as I said before, is 24 minutes and it's only a 12 episode, but it explains so much. Like, it shows how each of the girls grow and develop their own person and the flowers that represent and how their flowers, like, continue to transition with them as they adapt to each episode and grow and be strong as a team. And as I just gotta say, it's lovely. And I give this anime, like, a 7.5 out of 10. Just definitely check it out and you will not just be disappointed, I guarantee you. Thanks for watching. Give this big video a big thumbs up to know that you liked it. And also don't forget to comment down below in the comment section what anime you want to review next or what anime you want me to review. And don't forget to subscribe button for more contents and more videos. And I will see you soon. And until then, bye!